<laughs> Whenever you got a block, always, and, and this is why you're always flipping blocks too. Always go to the thickest part of the block you can go, go to the dead center, right, and start, start find a lot better control on the side. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Hi everybody, welcome to Fossil Hunting and Collecting with Chris. This year we went to the Digging with the Experts at Pendixie again, a really wonderful experience that I'll be showing you soon. After the Digging with the Experts was over, we were invited by Rich to work inside the pit that he had been digging. Now Rich is a great guy. Now Rich is a fan of the Fossil Hunting and Collecting with Chris videos but I'm also in awe of Rich. Rich is a decorated veteran who served in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Somalia. He uh, was decorated, he was, I believe, shot in combat twice and received two Purple Hearts. Basically, he is a military hero and uh, it was an honor to work with him and he was so generous. He uh, basically shared his pit first with me and then from other members of the Paleo Society so we were able to dig out some nice chunks of the Smoke Creek trilobite bed. That is the layer that you want to find if you're digging in Pendixie. So thank you so much, Rich, for sharing with us. This video is basically a tribute to you. Thank you for inviting us to a wonderful day of fossil collecting, and thank you for your service as well. So before we start, I'm gonna ask if you like these videos, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. These will make more fossil videos show up in the YouTube feed. Without further ado, here we go. All right, Rich, so what did you find over here? A uh, segment of a deplora, about four inches wide, wow. about this elevation right here. Okay. The hole's all filled in now from other guests. And we've got a trial bite right here, I believe. Nice, very nice. nice <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you can have it if you like. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. But yeah, this is the area I found that deplora in. It's a segment about four inches wide. I wish I had my camera on me, I'll show you a picture of it. But uh, James seen it, uh, Sydney seen it from here, huh. employee. If you remember, send it to paleo teacher at yes. gmail.com. Yeah. Hey. Yes, I will. But yeah, this is the area, it, this is actually below the Smoke Creek layer where I'm working over there. Oh, okay. And this is the Smoke Creek here or below it? Below it. it. Below it? Okay. Below it. Yeah. Below the Smoke Creek. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for telling us that. You're welcome, Chris. Thank you. Still untouched ground, but everything else has been dug up for digging with the experts. And then my little pit up there is... Very nice. I'm just trying to follow the edge. And... Oh, not there, on the, on the pile behind you. Yeah. That, that pile, yes. We don't, we don't want to rebury the rocks that uh, yeah. These are already dug, dug up. up. Yes. All right, really looks like you know what you're doing. <laughs> I've used a pick a few times in my life. Got yep. a couple of them at home, actually. This is probably the first time there were trilobites underneath, right? <laughs> Your name is? Rich. Rich. And hey, you. Uh, but what? Get a pick up. Good morning. What? Do you decided to go to breakfast for James. Oh, my oh okay. Oh, Hello, welcome. It's we did Yeah, we stopped at Paris. Did all this with you? I had help. 
They got blocks coming, so they had to. Had to do we had to work for a. We had to work for our blocks. Yeah. He said if we took it all the way to the where that creek bed is there, uh, he would give us each one of the blocks. Gone. It's gone. gone Underneath <laughs> there, we've already done it. Well, actually, he said to the corner. <laughs> Whatever, wherever it's the not going to go a hell of a lot further than. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping to meet up at the corner from last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. It can't be far that way. No. The, I've been like, putting my way out mountain. You find where we did all the cutting? You gotta go to the corner of Big Tree and 28. <laughs> yeah. right. Did you guys do all that cutting? I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Oh. Oh. Supervisor, we're supposed to be doing the work. Which, which is it, right? Smoke Creek or the Smoke Creek? Smoky Creek is a creek that we collect in. This is the Smokes Creek layer. Ah, thank you. <laughs> or vice versa. Or Smokey the Bear. This is exactly <laughs> what I tried doing is getting a piece right next to it. Oh, no. Stuff has been weathering since March. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is fresh. In, in uh, this stuff here. So that's the smoke creek. Yep. That you your tools that your all this bounce off. Yeah, that looks like the end, right? Yeah. That's there. Yeah. We dug up this way. Yeah, all the way up. Yeah, we dug all the way up there. Up there. Yeah. That was the last two, three years. So is this the corner then? I think so. Uh, I'm trying to find the other corner that goes this way. Gotta be really close to you. Yeah. Yeah, you got maybe two rows, I, I suspect. That's it. Hey, can we borrow that? I know how to run it. <laughs> I, uh, I already had Zenny Hell. Yeah, they're, but they're, they're getting the funding enough of yeah. that time to do to, to start doing all the blocks. That's right. See, that, that's interesting. Now we're back into the. Uh, Different things. Yeah. You know what you're looking for, don't <laughs> you? You wanna check that before I rip the next one? Just leave it, just leave it. Okay. Because you section to crush the uh, limestone and stuff for uh, Portland cement. Is it limestone underneath? The there's sand? a limestone there underneath, but there's limestone over top of all of this. Oh, okay. Like they dug down to here. Oh, and I see. And this is mostly uh, shale. Okay. Yeah. That's so between two limestone. Watch out, Grit. Yep. Before you pull it, yeah, the hammer. <laughs> Where'd you go? You guys, you guys here? Oh, Joe's Diner. Joe's Diner. Oh, they're oh. open at nine, right? <laughs> Seven. Seven. <laughs> really? Since when? Oh, I think I see a table that's sitting on the side. <laughs> Is that an eye? Have a look with him. Okay. All right. 
time I ever came to Penn Dixie uh, was the second year it was open and I was here by myself all I had was a hammer and a chisel and uh, I come out and I was banging in something and, I, and this old guy comes up to me and says you're digging in the wrong spot son <laughs> right right and uh, son I'm probably 50 years old at this point and uh, so he came over and he showed me exactly where to do it. And he says, I can't do it anymore. So what you got to do is get your chisel under here. And this is the layer you're looking for. Except back then we were way over there. Uh, no, we were down there. And the layers were double yeah. the thickness of here. Uh, so we were finding a lot better troll bikes too. Right? The, the cluster plate. He was an incredibly nice guy. Yeah, Bob was a nice, nice guy. And I always used to meet him here. And every time I was here, I would split a block out and take him a block for him because he got to the point where he couldn't take blocks or anything out himself. And uh, I split a, bo a, a block out for him probably three weeks before he passed. Three weeks. Yeah. Well, what you're saying, Malcolm, is he used to be a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Still a nice guy in my memory. <laughs> because, and this is, this is the honest truth, if I hadn't met him that day, that would have been the one and only time I ever came here. I just said, well, that wasn't worth the drive. Wow. And yet, yeah. I found probably 20 complete trilobites my first day, and I was hooked on this place. <laughs> yeah. Right? I was just here for two days, and I only took six bugs home. Because all I did was help other people. Yeah, I remember one day we showed. Is it? Yeah, right there. Yeah. Good stuff. I tried to load my shoes up with dirt. You see that? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna give you limestone galoshes. <laughs> There's always pro See, I'm excited so I'll get to leave the set nice and clean at night. I come back the next day still nice and clean. So this is called benching? Well, we left our spot Saturday. Big on the way down the first oh, well, okay. We're going to try to get to the border of Indiana because we got two spots in central, south, central, western Indiana we want to head to. Before the north. to chip off those tiny little trolley bites. In fact, I don't think I should break this on site anymore. I should probably protect that. Look at this piece. Looks like, originally I thought that might be one big trolley bite, but no, it actually looks like two trolley bites. 
one enrolled, one broken, and a third one over here. This is a nice little piece. I like it. You find the bell. So you want to go below this? So otherwise, you're just gonna find the uh, elder drops and the I see at least two horn corals on there. Yeah. Yeah, I usually save us some time. And I found a cephalopod, horn corals, and a bracket. A cephalopod? Yeah. I've been feeding people garbage for like a year, so to go ahead and tell me the right way. No, when, whenever you got a block, always. And, and this is why you're always flipping blocks too. Always go to the thickest part of the block that you can go. Go to the dead center, right? And start start it there. What you might also look for is is there's any mark or fossils along the way. Right? Yeah, oh yeah. Because when you hit, the rock is going to follow the natural easiest way to split. And here at Penn Dixie, usually the weakest part of the rock is right where the trilobite is so, and so it'll split off right on the skin and leave the skin on the other side now it's all right down there. thank you enough. thank you so much malcolm all yeah, right so grant made another spectacular find a piratized trilobite oh look here's another <laughs> oh yeah, Block's probably going to have a bunch in them. Yeah, um, it has had a bunch in them. Look at that pyrotized trilobite shine. Okay, yeah, we got that shine. Yeah. Super, put, it, uh, put in a clip about the, good, about the right kind of super glue. Yeah. It's a it's a Ray McKinney because it's mine. <laughs> Very nice, nice find, Ray. Oh wait a minute, let me show you my millionth coral horn coral clip. Your millionth horn coral. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you I can break us. it off for you. Like in, uh, so over here, the the Malcolm the Malcolm Middle method works. This whole boulder has just split right in half. Now, you want me to have, hold it? The unveiling. The unveiling. Uh, yes. So, uh, do you, do you, do you, yeah, that's. We don't want you to. Do you want to try and pry that apart? Let me get my legs over here so I can. Put a chisel in the, Just put a chisel in and twist it. Here. Oh, let me do one with the handle. Oh, that's a better idea. I can catch the fly. Whoa! And there it goes. We have... And we have a, something. Oh, it's a horn coral? Yeah. We of, have a horn coral. <laughs> try to bite the handle. And bits. There we go. Oh, wow! What's this? Ah! I think that's a cast of a horn coral. So the block... Didn't have too much on the inside, but there was one on the outside that we managed to take good care of. And as we were breaking up the block, and now it's in a much smaller, more handy piece that I can take home. So didn't see too much on the inside of this block, but we have a nice trilobite, probably gonna be complete. That was on the outside of the block. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Very nice. Throw it away. Coral party. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the horn corals are partying. Listen to that. Chris, yep. you have a roller. It's rolling it in. Yep, what? I don't, I don't think it got cut in half. Where's oh. the other half feet? Oh, there it is. Yep. Or maybe that's just half. Well, we will find one trilobite. There just might be another invasion. After roughly 380 million years. Oh, that's black. Oh, no, physical. And you have a whole bunch of brackets. And you got a tail right there. Not really a fossil. Not a fossil. Not a fossil. Oh, wow. 
Chris, I found something. Oh, what'd you find? Wow. My cup fell off. Um, what is that? May I? Yes. Oh, that that is looking like a pot, possibly a platycerus. You think? What is that? It it is a uh, gastropod or snail. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. I think that's what it is. Oh, oh Malcolm! Malcolm will give you the real answer. Malcolm. <laughs> right here in that piece that flaked off? There could be. I'm not really it sure. Ripped apart. It, yeah, I can't say just from the little parts it's showing, I can't really tell you. Okay. It's a All right, so this little one is all enrolled. Not much of a head, but the rest of the body is all rolled up here. You said Chris? Yeah, I just moved it over to the wagon. It's uh, two two rolled guys. Two rolled guys? Two rolled guys. Two rolled guys or two old guys? No, two old guys are, I'm looking at two old guys. It's a partial, that's probably complete. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I think I see a little more than just that there. So, yeah, it looks like it's a nice roller. Ray found a whole bunch of them here. Was the first rock I, I, I first split I did. And of course, where Ray first put split. these, someone's either going to step on them or he's going to forget them. Uh, I almost <laughs> dropped my hammer. Today's my first game. That's why I always walk behind I met I met I met a woman named Sue. Oh, who lives in Cherry Hill, and that's why I went to the Cherry Hill, New York. The block, and I could hear the birds. Now I hear things I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at this trilobite death assemblage. This one is going to be good. Looks like it has a prone one. It's got another enrolled one, another head here. And who knows how much could even be inside underneath the rock. I'm going to take this one home and I'm going to see what else is in this. Now, this is a good find. Yeah. Smoke Creek Trial Bite Bed, great spot. Thank you, Rich. Okay, here we go, the big split. And what do we have? All right, corals, yay. Thank you, thank you very much for showing us that. Horn coral. <laughs> you want to take some for Ray? You know, we're gonna uh, spell his, spell Ray out in horn corals and uh, on a slab and give it to him. So this rock has lots of partial trilobites on it, which is really cool. But what I'm really excited about is the end. The end appears to have a Bellicart radia. It's only a partial, but this is a scarce trilobite. Good one to find. You're okay. You're okay. Anything good in there? It's like it tricks in my eyes, it's all full of gunk. Nah, I think it's just a horn coral. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, New York Paleontological Society. Mikey, thank, Mike, thank you for leading a great trip. Okay. Right. It's fun. <laughs>
<laughs> Take care, Jeff. John. Well, I, I left my dairy. Me, me too. Oh, Who was sitting here? The, the, the hammer sounds bad. What happened, Bobby? Take care. Ray, thank you so much for a wonderful trip. Thanks, Chris. And we'll uh, see you soon. I Help. hope. You're right. Till the next time. So as you can see, every day at Penn Dixie is a great day. And that has a lot to do with the people who go there. Thank you so much, Rich, for sharing your spot with us. Thank you to Malcolm. Thank you to uh, the members of the New York Paleontological Society and the experts who happen to show up this day. Thank you as well for watching. Uh, please let me know if you liked it. Go ahead and send me a comment or hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Happy fossil hunting and collecting to you.